WWE superstars are a mixture of athletes, entertainers and stuntmen. They are often known for taking bumps and performing planned stunts, however they are occasionally tasked with performing actual stunts. From idiotic ladder spots to ridiculous hardcore matches, to falls from unimaginable heights, these performers put their lives on the line just to entertain fans, but sometimes they are just beyond belief. These stunts don't always go according to plan, leads to some very near misses, genuine injuries and even the performers coming close to ending their careers or worse. I am the wrestling guy and these are the 5 most dangerous stunts in WWE. Number 5. Mick Foley speared through a flaming table. WWE superstars thrive off heat, especially if you are a heel, but something tells me they wouldn't be too keen on being involved in matches that actually involve fire. It was Kane who made flames a regular theme in WWE, with the big red machine being involved in many situations over his long career where he could have easily been burned. In a controlled setting like when he set Jim Ross on fire during an interview, the risk is minimised. However, live during a match in an arena is where things start to become a bit tricky. When Edge and Mick Foley collided at WrestleMania 22, not many fans expected to see the absolute war that these two men put on. Edge was pushing towards a permanent main event spot and Foley was nearing the end of his career. The match was brutal, but the finish was something no one expected to see at WrestleMania. With a table set up on the outside, lead to litter on fire and with Foley on the apron, the rated R superstar speared him through it, both of them briefly catching fire. It was a logical ending to this match, but a surprising one nonetheless, especially when you consider the amount of horrendous bumps Foley had taken throughout his career. This stunt went massively well considering the risk factor. Number 4. Mae Young powerbombed through table. After their rivalry with the Hardys and Edge and Christian was over, the Dudleys went through an interesting phase with WWE as Bubba began to have an obsession with putting women through tables. We all know that Mae Young is one of the most legendary performers in the wrestling industry, but boy did she have some crazy moments, especially during the Attitude Era. The most notable of which was in one of the most shocking moments in wrestling history. Dudley grabbed the almost 80 year old Mae Young and powerbombed her off of the entrance stage through a table below. It was a bump that most men would refuse to take, but Young not only took the bump, she made it look very good. May's bump was wildly dangerous not only for the nature of the powerbomb move, but also the fact that an injury at her advanced stage could have led to some major health concerns. It only proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that Mae Young was one of the toughest women on earth. Number 3. Shane McMahon thrown through glass Similarly to the fire the WWE have on occasions used glass in angles and matches, we all remember Marty Jannetty going through the barbershop window and Shawn Michaels being introduced to the Jerotron 5000. Unlike fire, glass is much easier to gimmick and stunts can be performed a lot more safely. Unfortunately, as with a lot of things in professional wrestling, not all stunts involving glass go according to plan. At the King of the Ring event in 2001, Kurt Angle battled Shane McMahon in a street fight. The match was a fantastic back and forth contest and even made McMahon look like a legitimate threat to the wrestling machine. There was one spot in particular that stands out and that was a suplex that Angle gave Shane through a glass pane. The first time the triangle was unsuccessful in sending the billion dollar boy through the glass, dropping him on his head in the process. As we all know, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And that's exactly what Kurt did. On the second time of asking, Angle threw Shane straight through the glass successfully. It had been reported that the wrong glass was used and understandably Vince McMahon was not happy about this. It was an unnecessary risk that didn't need to happen and shouldn't have really taken place at all. Number 2. Spear from a 20 foot ladder Some of the greatest wrestling spots in WWE history have involved the likes of the Hardys, the Dudleys and Edge and Christian who all helped to revolutionise the TLC concept in WWE. And just when we thought the bar couldn't be raised any higher, they somehow managed to raise the level up to the next rung. This match was full of spectacular bumps and the trio of tag teams saved their biggest bumps for toward the end of the match. During the match, Jeff was hanging from the hook that was holding the tag team titles and Edward proceeded to climb a 20 foot ladder and spear Hardy, sending him both a long way down to the mat below. The timing for this stunt had to be absolutely spot on to make sure that both Edge and Hardy didn't end up ending their careers on the grandest stage of them all. Number 1. Mick Foley is broken in half. Perhaps no superstar in WWE history has suffered for their wrestling style more than Mick Foley. Mrs Foley's baby boy often took all manner of heavy bumps, any of which could have ended his career and probably would have ended the careers of anyone else who's bonkers enough to even try half the stunts that Foley did. The one that sticks in many wrestling fans' minds took place at the King of the Ring event in 1998. It was a Hell in a Cell match between The Undertaker and Mankind. Foley convinced the company to let him take this massive bump in the second ever Hell in a Cell match. Mick Foley was thrown from the top of the cell and came crashing through the announce table below which he nearly missed. 
As if this wasn't crazy enough, Freddy then decided to climb back up to the top of the cage where he was then choke slammed through the top. How this guy came out of this match was simply some bruises, thumbtacks on every inch of his body and a tooth up his nose is beyond me. Surely there is only so much the human body can take. This stunt will forever go down in wrestling history as one of the greatest and most dangerous stunts of all time. <laughs>